Good evening, all of you. How is everyone doing on this Saturday? I hope everyone's having a peachy weekend, and I hope you all enjoy the drawing that will ensue for the rest of the evening. Alrighty. Got that good chill music. Mmm. It's, it's, a, it's a finger snapper. Mm. What is? It's more of a who is. Well, if you look on over here, we gonna be drawing good old Feeny. Yes. Thanks to your votes, we will be drawing the Dragon Feeny. Alrighty. Now, I've already gone ahead and printed my picture. I've already highlighted all my shapes because obviously I am on a, I'm on a time crunch this evening. And if you look, I've already gone ahead and made my stencil for the evening. We got our second reference right here to actually use. Now, let's just get all of our, let's get all of our pencils out. We got our HB, we got our, our 2B, we got our to be or not to be all right i'm gonna need no, i want an f got my 3h oh this is my this is one of my favorites right here i want to need this this little baby eraser i'm gonna need a sharpener no i'm, I'm gonna be drawing happy little pizzas today all righty so now first like always we're just gonna we're just gonna come on in and tackle this okay so i've left the hand the fingers a little untouched so i can teach you guys how to freehand because from this reference, as you can see, it is impossible. It looks like she is flipping us all off. You know what I mean? She's just flipping everyone off. But that's okay. We're gonna fix that on here. All right. So now let's let's finally take the pencil and just start working. We're gonna just get some happy shades in there. We're gonna just be gentle. You know, you gotta you gotta be super gentle to the paper. Um, it really depends on how long this drawing takes. I'm not gonna rush this piece of art right here. This is of a dear friend of mine. I can't just rush this one like I did Lich's Eye. How's everyone's weekend doing? Anyone doing anything tomorrow for Easter? I myself am not a religious man, but I plan on going to have a nice, a nice dinner with everyone else. All right, we're gonna just, we're gonna be very gentle. Take the side of the pencil. We're gonna hold it like this. You see this? This is all the motion we gotta do, okay? Just gotta be super gentle. You don't really have to worry about the mistakes you're making. Just kind of just go with what you feel. Just go. Just, you know, you're going to sit here and just trace. Just be gentle. Try as little as you can to use the point of your pencil. You always want to put this puppy on its side. There's no, there's no sense drawing like this. This is going to scar your paper up and make this lady bleed. You want to make this paper bleed? No. Okay, just go in and you know what? Just maybe, maybe, maybe you feel like tackling up here. Maybe you feel like tackling up here. Okay, maybe you're just gonna just throw in some scribbles over there. Maybe that's what you want to do. Put in some scribbles. Now, Feeny, Feeny's got some very straight brown hair. You want to try also and obey the direction that it's all flowing. Now, if you look at Feeny's picture up here, along this side, it's all flowing in one motion. So maybe, maybe you should just sketch in this uh, th this motion. Just go down, start up here, just, just go. Gonna put in some nice shading up here. Gonna throw it down. I'm gonna come back down here. Now if you look right around here, there's no light. There's no light over here. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure we accentuate this this part right here. All right, so I did not stencil in this line. So let's uh, very gently just get, get a reference in there. All right, and of course the sunglasses. I'm not a fan of drawn sunglasses sunglasses are just too the two they're too stubborn they get in my way of the face but this picture i feel really captures feeny's uh her personality her emotions so i'm gonna just come on in and just be gentle to the paper it's gotta be gentle make it smooth make that blend smooth 
sunglasses equal shell jumps. I don't know about that one. So so right now what I'm doing is I'm just putting the, the basis layer down. You know, we don't have to sit here and worry about any of this. I'm just putting the base layer just to make sure I don't lose any of these shapes. Because, you know, we want to we wanna make sure that this looks egg. Exactly like Thene. Let's gotta get the shapes in. Be gentle. Let's be gentle. Always hold the pencil like this. Always hold the pencil like this. You see how I'm not going too fast? You see how, you see the the let's see, let's see. You see how going too fast? It's caused the lines to be too spread apart like that. You don't want that. We're getting that. You just need to move your hands slower and softer. Now, if you look right here, that's where her eyelid is. Just want to make that part just a little bit darker. How long does it take me to draw this insanely good? What do you mean? What do you mean, honey? I just realize I'm calling people all kinds of names. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to be in character. I'm not saying Bob Ross, you know, called everyone honey. But it just seemed right. It just seemed right. And you know, and if it just seems right, you just gotta go with it. Now we're coming up here, we got more shadows to work with. She has this little shadow that goes from her finger to her eye right there. Gotta be very careful with this one though. This is a very special shadow. Her smile shines through her eyes. Yeah, you know what? There's happy accidents, but you cannot perform a happy accident on an eye. Mm -mm. If you do an eyeball wrong, it is unforgivable. Okay, when you want to start getting darker, also, first of all, you gotta always make sure your pencil is very, very sharp. You don't want it to be too sharp, though. Usually what I do is I sharpen it and I push it against my, my paper to make sure the sharp... Mm, the sharpness doesn't scratch the paper. You don't want to scratch the paper. You want to you want to compliment the paper. Scratching the paper takes away from it. Over here, we got to be a little more specific. Want to go in the the direction that the hair is coming from. Get some other circles in there. Got to follow the shape of the eyebrow. Like I said, life is all about shapes. There we go, that's much better. It's starting to look a lot more like Feeny by the minute. Alrighty. I've been getting antsy to do this, but now we bring out graphite in our brush. We dab it inside of the cap. We do the test. You know the test? Perfect. Now I want to go through and just blend this all out. Smooth everything out. Just spread it all around. Now if you look after doing this, it's gotten rid of all the edges. So what we're going to have to do is go right back in and clean the edges. The best part about this graphite is it just covers so much area so fast. Mm. come together. It looks a little bit messy right now, but we're gonna go in and clean it all up. I noticed a smaller brush you can be more accurate with. Now what I just did there is this gradient to her head. Because no matter what, there's no white in her face, not even her eye. What this is going to do, this is going to allow us to really get in there. I apologize for my silence right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this, this part requires a tremendous amount of focus. Trying to get it all as perfect as I can. 
Now, we gotta start making sure that the values of these shadows here are all on point before we start putting in final touches. The hair will come last, and that's just my preference. I like doing hair last. It's the most free thing you can really do, and you don't really have to worry about getting it right. You know, when you start drawing tons of faces, you start really developing and understanding the similarities between people's faces. Now, certain people's faces will do a certain thing and then you just, like, you find it and same people do the same thing. It's really weird. At least weird for me. I know a good way to learn to draw portraits is to like turn it upside down. Turn it upside down and then also turn the reference upside down and you don't see it as a face anymore. You see it as a shape. You stop looking at it as a face because when you start looking at it as a face, you're like, oh no, they don't have it like that. That's not how that looks. In this day and age, and the way it's evolved, you don't need an apprenticeship anymore. And a lot of old timers are gonna really disagree with me on that. But honestly, if you learn to trace, um, you'll learn the foundation of doing your lines. And if you learn to draw realism, you'll learn. As far as that goes, I can't. Campbell Soup, I am, I'll tell you right here, I suck at drawing cartoon stuff. Just because I, I'm, my, my forte is realism, man. If you wanted me to get realism, I could give you tips on realism. As far as like cartoony stuff, like I suck. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you, I suck. And you know why? It's just because I haven't put time into it. I put all my free time, all my free time when I was, when I was like learning to draw into learning realism. Like the way my brain works is I see all the little details and everything. So I just naturally want to get them all out. So realism, tips on realism. Usually when people struggle with realism, it's because they can't get their proportions down. And honestly, like if you're just learning to draw, do this. This is a stencil. This is a stencil. On the back, I scribbled it. On the front, I traced out the shapes just like a tattoo because I'm a tattoo artist and it gets rid of all the trouble. It gets rid of all the trouble for, for proportions. If I wanted to sit here and freehand it, I could. It would take me like three hours to sit here and measure it all out or grid it all out and take so long. And what's the point of doing that if I already know I can do it? The, 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 the key is, is to not use a stencil as a crutch. It's to use it as a tool. Just stop making excuses and just do it. The longer you sit there and say you can't do it, the longer you're sitting there still not doing it. No one in this world just got good right off the bat. People have their natural talents and stuff, but at the end of the day, hard work triumphs talent. Uh, this is the Dragon Feeny. If you do not know the Dragon Feeny, go give her a follow. She's a fantastic girl. She's a partnered streamer here on Twitch. She does Link to the Past randomizers, Mario Maker, and a lot of other games too. Voila! We have the Dragon Feeny. The shine is like trying to ruin. 
Voila. The shine and the angle of this camera kind of like mess up the proportions a little bit. Because I can't have it straight on, because if I do, if I have this straight on, it does this. Wait, hold on. We're not going to worry about this. <laughs> I'll fix this later. I'll fix this later.